Hello, I'm Cindy from Skip to My Lou. Today I'm showing how to create a shape overlay on a photo with Adobe Photoshop Elements 2018. This video is in partnership with Adobe. To begin, select a photo and open. Once you have your photo open, we're going to click on Guided at the top. You will see all the creative edits you can make to your photos. Each edit has a step-by-step -step guide that makes it easy to create stunning photos. Choose Fun Edits and then scroll to the bottom and choose Shape Overlay Effect. We're going to select a shape on the right side. You'll see there are many options to choose from. I'll choose the heart. Click and drag the corners to make the shape larger or smaller. See how easy it is to adjust the shape. Click on the green check mark to commit to the edit. By hovering over the corner box, you will see a curved arrow. This will allow you to rotate the shape. Now we're going to select a side effect. You can choose from a variety of effects and patterns. I'm going to choose white. The intensity can easily be controlled with the slider. Now let's select the inside effect. Again, there are a variety of options. I'm actually going to leave this one the way it is. There is a crop tool to easily adjust the size. I want my photo 8.5 by 11, so I will not make this edit. You can also crop to shape. At any time you want to try again, click the undo button. I'm happy with the shape overlay and now want to add words to my photograph. I'm going to continue editing in quick. Select the type tool and begin typing the letters. I would like a different font, so I'll highlight the text and choose a new font from here below. Click the green arrow to commit to the change, position the word into place, and use the corner square to size, position, and rotate the word. I want to add a heart to my word, so I'll again select the type tool. Select the font. I'm using a dingbat that I know has a hand-drawn heart. This is too large, so I will highlight and select a font size down here. Click the green arrow, and then click the heart and move it into place. I only want one heart, so I can easily grab an eraser tool by moving into expert mode. Don't worry, it's still super easy. Select eraser tool, click on the heart you want to erase. You will be prompted to simplify the text. Click Yes. Use the Eraser tool to remove the heart. That looks great. We're ready to print. Choose the size from this drop-down. We need the image to be actual size for the project. Also make sure to select Center Image. Now we're ready to create our custom notebook cover. 